start with some calf raises. So uh, we're going to stand on the tips of the toes, hold it there for two seconds, and then slowly lower again. So I'm coming up until my toes, on my toes, and then I lower again. Okay, so I go up and down. So you go up as high as you can, you hold it and you go down again. So we do this for 20 times at your own pace. Okay, I'm going to just take a look if Amy is joining us or not. Okay, so Keep your balance while you're doing this. So we need to warm up this part and then we will move for further up to the rest of the body. Okay, let's say we did 20 times by now. So next we will do, uh, we will do something for the lats. So here in the back of the, I want to say again the back of the back, but obviously the back is the back. So you're going to push <laughs> your arms up like this. Okay, so your feet are shoulder width apart, and you change from right to left. You can also look towards your hand to make the movement a little bit more as a stretch. So try to really lean over to the opposite side of the hand that you are uh, using. So let's do this for another 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. From here, we're going to do a forward fold. So we're going to reach with the hands for the mat, okay? So you will feel this also in the back of your legs, most likely. And you try to really push up the hips. So reach for the mat with the fingers or the hands, whatever you can, but really push the hips up. So your butt is going a little bit higher. You can bend your knees if it's really uncomfortable. We hold here for another 10 seconds. Okay, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then from here, you're going to walk your hands forward so you are in a high plank, okay? So high plank, I'm straight. Then from here, I'm putting my right foot next to my right hand. And then from here, I'm moving my right hand up to the ceiling. So I'm doing a runner's lunge with a twist to the right side and hold it here for 10 seconds. And I take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And once more. And then we place the right hand back onto the mat, the right leg goes back. And then we do the same with the left leg, goes next to the left hand. And then the hand goes up to the ceiling. We do a deep breathe, breath, breathe, breathe in and breathe out. And again, hand goes back to the mat, foot to the back, and we walk our hands back to our feet. We stand up tall again, and from here, we're going to do 10 reverse lunges. So we are in our stable position, basic position, feet are next to each other, and I'm moving the right foot to the back. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and back to the front. So we do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep the knee under control, nine, 10, and switch to the other side. So try to keep the knee as close.
close to or as less or as little as you can from going over your toe a little bit is okay you can see with me as well it's not completely 90 degrees 10 okay from here we're going to do some lateral lunges so we go first to the right like this okay so we move the right leg and the left leg stays so we stretch the left inner thigh okay so we do this another 10 times so one keep the chest open two three back is straight four we can place the hands on the hips five six seven eight nine ten okay back to the middle other side one Two. No. What is the cat doing, Lydia? Hold on. Can I see it? Still on the couch, no. Four. Five. Six. Keep the chest open, shoulders to the back. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. From here, we're going to do ten squats. Yay. So, hey. yay. One, remember I'm going as low as I can, but not compensating on my back, not compensating on my knees, pushing outward, knees stay behind my toes and coming up and I'm pushing through my glutes, okay? So 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. From here, we go into lateral bounds. What's a lateral bound? I'm going to jump like this. Then I'm going to add in my hands. So, opposite hand, opposite foot. I'll do it once slowly so you can see. So jump, jump. Okay. So here we go 20 times. Me, no. Four, five, six, seven, no, no. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Getting a little bit warmer already, huh? Okay, next, we have two options. Mountain climbers or high knees, you can choose. Mountain climbers, you go down, high plank, and one, two, three, four, right? <laughs> high knees, you stay up like this. Your knees are touching your hands. Whatever you choose, you do 20. Here we go and start. Eight, nine, ten, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, Marina, tell me. Jumping jacks. Yeah, <laughs> 20 jumping jacks. Here we go. Four, five, six, ten, fifteen, and twenty. Okay, that was the warm up for today. <laughs> now we start. You can, just coming. Yeah. you can just start it. You can catch your breath while you are seated on the mat. So please sit down like this. And we're going to um, hold a half boat pose with bent knees. So back is straight, okay? I'm leaning backwards as if I'm in a lounge chair, but I'm not. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring up my legs like this, okay? So 90 degrees, toes are flexed, keeping the hands like this. 
chin is, chin is tucked or relaxed so it's in line with my spine. Can you tell the difference? So this we're going to do, try to do that for 45 seconds. If you feel pain, please take a rest. I'm using, going to set my timer. Are you ready? Here we go. Start. So try to really keep your shoulders backwards as well. So focus on that straight back. Don't forget about the toes and really try to, you can feel your abs uh, in the meantime. Be careful, Francesca, don't hurt yourself. Five seconds. Two, one, release. <sighs> what did you do? You hurt your wrist? Uh, yeah. Okay. Too much in seconds. How much I stay? <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. Okay, next. You can stay in this position, okay? So, um, from here, you can go and lie down with your back on the mat. Keep your lower back press into the floor, okay? So, you're going to bring up one leg that is up like this, okay? So, and the other one you can keep in 90 degree or 45, whatever, doesn't matter. As long as you keep pressing your lower back into the floor, you, you keep your palms facing up. And then you're going to make circles with the toes of your left foot, two circles. And then you switch and two circles with the right foot, the toes of the right foot. And then you switch again, okay? Uh -huh. uh, if 45 seconds is too long, ladies, we just, I will say like after 20, you just take a break for five or 10 seconds and then you just try to go again, okay? So, and don't worry. Oh, good. Okay, ready? Here we go. Start. So, circle one and switch. Two and switch. Don't forget about the lower back. Uh, uh. Yep, 20 seconds down. Take a rest if you need to. And here we go again. Ooh, some nice music. It's my phone. He's my boss. Oh no, ignore him. L leave the music to us. Don't pick up the phone. And that's no, it. No, no. <laughs> Time's up. Okay. Oh. Ladies, from here, we're going to come back up like this. Okay, so we're going to do some alternating single leg jackknives. But we only use our legs for this one. So we're not doing the crunch. So again, as with the boat, you kind of lean a little bit to the back, okay? And you're going to bring your left knee or left leg up and try to touch with your hand, your toe. Now, you don't, you cannot from this position, which is okay. You can bring it up further so you can actually touch it. Oh, something flying here. So touch. Sorry, Sorry, Lina. Yes. Left leg, right hand. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you if, if it's too hard, then you just bend your knee. Okay. So you do okay. this instead. Okay. But important is to keep the straight back okay. and to keep the core under tension for this one, the abs. Okay. Here we go. Start. For 
forget about the straight back. 20 seconds down. I'm going to sneak peek. Looking strong. And continue, Marina. It's not because I stop, you stop, eh? <laughs> five seconds. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> okay. From here, next one. We flip around onto our hands and our knees, okay? And we're going to do um, panther shoulder taps, okay? So we're going to try and do it for 45 seconds. If it's too hard, and we take a break in between. So what is a panther shoulder tap? You are with your knees as wide as your hips, okay? And your hands are under your shoulders. From here, you're going to bring your knees into the air, hover across the floor, like when you would be doing the beast crawls, but we stay in place. And from here, we're going to tap the shoulders, okay? So I'm going to try and keep my hips as steady as I can. So don't do this, but keep the hips stable. Look down so you're not hurting your neck and just move the hands, okay? If it's getting too hard, you just take a break and you continue. Ready? Here we go. Okay, 20 seconds down. Keep it up, 10 seconds. Squeeze your glutes, raise your abs. Three, two, one. Ah, well done. Whew. Finally getting warmer again, no, that's nice. Okay, now from here, we're going to get up onto the mat. So we're going to do some tiptoe plie squats. We did something similar like that last week as well. But we are going to also use a little bit the arms. So when we are, this is our, uh, our start position, okay? So yeah, I am with my, I'm on my tip, tip toes, the tips of my toes. And I'm going to hold my arms in front of me, okay? Like a ballerina. So arms are in front. I'm like this, my toes are pointing a little bit outwards. And then from here, I'm going to make a plie squat and my oh. arms go to the side, okay? So from here to here, 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 here. And you can do this with a lot of ballerina flair or you can just do forward, side, front, side, front, side, okay? So, ready? And you are on your toes the whole time, okay? So okay. here you're working on your calves. Ready, let's go. So. Ta-da. And you can probably imagine that you can also do this exercise by holding some weight. So if after a while you really master this movement and you feel no challenge whatsoever, then it's time to add some weight. Or you can hold your baby or your cat or some wine, five seconds. And finish. Okay, for the next one, we um, we're going to do first the right leg and then the left leg. So 
So for this one, maybe it's easier if you go next to the mat. We're going to do a single leg touchdown and then with a hop. So a little bit of balance here. Um, so I'm showing you right side first. So left leg is like this, relaxed, 90 degrees in the air. And then I'm going to, with the right hand, touch the floor. Whoop, do not lose my balance. So again, touch the floor and hop. Okay, back, touch the floor and hop. So really take your time. It doesn't need to be speed work. It needs to be good form and I don't want you to hurt your knee, okay? So you do it at your own pace. 45 seconds on the right side, 45 seconds on the left side with the necessary breaks. Ready? Here we go. So, so it's balance and a bit of power. Up and up. And try not to put the left foot on the floor if you can. And done. Ah, 15 seconds. Ooh. Ooh. Five. Opa, there I go. Ah. Two, one. Okay, get ready. We do the same thing on the left side. Ready, start. And for this one, you will ooh, really clearly feel that one side is stronger than the other. <laughs> Oof. You should see. Oof. Very hard. Yeah, it's a really good exercise, this one. Five seconds, almost there. Hola. Okay. Stop. Allora. From here, um, I think you all have a wall available, I, I think, right? I want to do a little um, experiment. I want to do um, a, a squat against the wall and not like this, but the other way around, okay? I just want to do it because, um, and if you don't have a wall, then you can do a normal squat, but try it maybe afterwards. So just a bit crappy with the camera for me. So um hold on. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. So. so I'm going to squat and try to really Sorry, be with my knees against the wall, okay? <laughs> so by doing this, it really forces you to go low. And you can see my back is still straight, okay? My toes are pointing straight ahead, okay? So if you have a wall, use it. If you don't, then just do the same thing without the wall, okay? But try it afterwards because it will give you a very different feeling. Ah. <laughs> and the idea is that we stay here, okay? We stay there for 45 or 20, whatever you can, but we stay there and we go as low as we can as we're comfortable with, okay? So get ready, wall or no wall, and start. So at the wall, okay, I'm holding my shoulders and basically with my nose again. Um, the wall. Clue is 
Look at my feet as well. They are, my toes are pointing to the front. Okay, and my uh, heels are on the floor. Okay, 15 seconds. Only. Oh, take a break if you need to, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Five, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. three, two, and one. And if you use the wall, then do a self check. If at the end of the exercise, your knee is still against the wall. Mine was not. Okay. So, just a fun thing to do. Uh, what personal trainers think is fun is probably different from what other people think is fun. But anyway. More wall exercise. So if you have a wall, use it for this exercise as well. So uh, we're going to do a wall push-up, or you can do it on the floor. But if you have a wall, it can be a good way to move to practice the movement without it actually being super heavy. So make sure you have like about uh, like half a meter from the wall. Okay. Place your hands at shoulder height, and you're going to set yourself and drop yourself, your weight against the wall until you're against the wall with your nose, and then push, your, push yourself away again, okay? So closer until my elbows are almost against the wall, my nose is against the wall, and I push myself away, okay? If you don't have a wall, then you use the mat, let me see, Marina has a wall. Uh, you all have a wall, right? Whereas, yeah, okay. Then we just do the wall thing. The wall thing. So 45 seconds of wall push-ups. And um, next time we do um, on the mat, okay? Ready, go. And do it slowly, okay? So. Really feel the movement as in you're pushing yourself away and you are also letting your body come closer to the wall. You are squeezing your glutes, you're bracing your abs. So this is really about getting to know the movement before we put ourselves in another position on the mat where it really it's very difficult actually to do this movement under your whole body weight. So. And stop. Okay. So this is not about strength so much, but it's about getting to know the mechanism. And hopefully later on. We can do it on the mat. Okay, now we go on the mat for half or whole side plank crunches. So starting on the right side, if you want to do, let's see my camera again. So, so <laughs> if you want to do the full side plank, this is the position, okay? So elbow, foot and hip are in line. My neck is relaxed and I'm going to crunch with my upper leg and arm like this. You can also choose to do half plank when you're, so your knee is on the mat and your knee and your elbow are in line and you do the same thing, okay? So choose whatever works for you. Here we go, start. I'm going to try if I can do the full. You can also start with the full, and then when it gets too hard, when your form starts to disappear, you switch to the half. And guess what I'm going to do? 20 seconds down. Yep. Just really try to keep that the rest of your body as still as you can. Five, uh, four, two, and one. Okay. 
check it out before we switch to the other side, okay? You ready? Okay, get ready and start. Halfway. And here I go. <laughs> and side planking is super good for your obliques. So if you gave birth, this is what you should be doing every day for a couple of times. Stop. Ah. So, let me see. That was the whole set. We have a little bit of time left. So um, let's do two exercises again. So do you have anyone, any, any favorites that you want to do? Tell no. me now. Any favorites? Any favorites? No. No. <laughs> All terrible. <laughs> okay. Let's. Um, the stretching. Eh? <laughs> we do stretching in a minute. We first do. Okay. We are on the butt. So let's say we do the alternating sin single leg. Uh, jackknife again, okay? That one is also good training for your back, so keep it really nice and straight, okay? Remember, opposite hand, opposite leg, okay? Ready? Go. Mal, sei uno uno. Che cosa? La password. Di chi? La tua. Ma di che cosa? Per mettere l'applicazione a fede. Supporta 621. Stamattina. Ehi, hey, vabbè, Mari. Scusate. Eh, vabbè. Sorry. Poi cambiala. È bene per il mio italiano, eh? It's like multitask. All the YouTube person know with my password. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds, two, one, yes. Okay, one more, then we do stretching, okay? One more. Uh, okay, let's flip around. Uh, I give you a hard one to end with and then you really deserve that. <laughs> yeah, so let's do the, the panther shoulder taps one more, okay? So. <sighs> Remember, knees are hip width apart, hands are under the shoulders. And then I'm going to put my toes also on the mat and push myself up and hold it here. And then tap my shoulders, keeping my hips steady, okay? Ready, start. Halfway. Almost there. Okay. Almost oh. there. You're doing amazing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Okay. Now we do stretching <laughs> and we can have some water, maybe some beer even. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, so we start standing, okay? So we stretch the legs first. 
we start with the quad. So just take the left ankle into your hand for a quad stretch. Oh, no. So you should feel it in the upper leg in the front. And then switch to the other leg. Okay, release. Let's do a stretch for the calves as well. So right leg goes to the front, feeling the stretch in the left calf. And switch. From here, we're going to do again the forward fold and it should go a bit easier normally than in the beginning. So it should feel a little bit less stiff. And you can, if you want, really embrace your ankles and fold your chest over your knees. And from here, tuck your chin to your chest. And I'm bending my knees because otherwise not possible for me. Okay, from here we move gently, carefully to the mat. So, actually, let's do a downward dog. So, pushing into our hands and Pushing into the toes of our feet. Feeling stretch in our shoulders, in our back, but also in our calves. Okay, from here, let's move into a pigeon. Right knee goes to the front. Lydia. And switch. Was the cat? <laughs> was Olivia. So the cat is called Lydia too. Lydia. Olivia. Ah, Lydia. Ah, see. Sorry, you told me last time. Okay. Or Oli. Oli. 
Okay. From here, we move into a cobra. So legs go both to the back. And I'm going to do a half cobra, but you can also do a full one. And um, let's stretch the neck as well, first to the right. She's watching you, huh? No, she's trying to, um, she's basically playing with the, with the other one. With the other cat, yeah. And basically, she dethroned the other. Oh, okay. The <laughs> Switch to the left side, then I can no longer see the cat. <laughs> And from here, let's move into a child's pose. So lean into your hips, arms go all the way to the front, and you're leaning your forehead against the mat. Okay, and then for the last Stretch, turn onto the mat, onto your back once more for the glutes. So bring the right knee in front of the left and pull the left knee. And switch. And then release. And slowly sit back up onto your mat. 